hey it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a fantastic day so this video is all about Nyla and it's week two with her so she was very good um, well she's getting better anyway and uh, we're learning some things along the way um, although she does she has been biting this week which is uh, one of the things that has kind of um, pushed us to the limits but what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video um, so you can enjoy all the things about Nyla now and uh, yeah, make sure you watch to the end of the video. So we've just come down the beach for a walk and Nyla's here getting used to it. She's getting used to the sounds and the people and all the other dogs here. She's doing well so far. She's been ever so good. She's just taking in all the sights and sounds. Heart racing a little bit, but can't wait for her to go and enjoy the surf and the, the sand. Hey girl. She's bitten half her hands off and feet and legs and and she's been in a crazy biting mood. So Nyla is just down here. So there she is. We keep trying to stop her from biting and she's just wanting to bite everything and I don't know what to do. Um it's been a really bad not bad but like just I don't know what to do. We don't know what to do with her. She just keeps biting and you know, we try to pull her off things and she just keeps biting us and our hands and our legs and and yeah, trying to look at videos now and I don't know what to do. So this is nice. This is Nyla eating a snail and although we've tried to get her off it, she just keeps on eating. I think it's better than eating twigs and bark, but who knows. And here's me standing under the tree so I don't get as wet not raining too much. I think she's ready now though, aren't you girl? We're gonna go to a cafe, have a cup of tea and cake and hopefully um, just get her used to all the sounds and all of that. So yeah, she's just sniffing and smelling and uh, making me wet. So we've just had our coffee and tea at the cafe. Nyla's doing well, days aren't. Um, just met a couple of people that are asking about her, not about us, just about um, Nyla. So gave us a couple of good tips. And uh, yeah, she's doing well. She's looking out at sea, hearing the seagulls. Aren't you, girl? She's uh, um, Her heart rate, rate was going quite a lot, but I think she's calming down now. Probably enough for today. Take her home. Uh, get us some lunch. So Nyla is doing well. She's playing by herself with some old snowboard socks. 
we didn't um, have her crazy hour last night, which was good. She kind of, um, or we kind of left her to it, and she wasn't as bad, which made me and Dave happy because we weren't as stressed. So today is Thursday, so she's been with us about a week and a half now, and I can definitely tell that she's got bigger. So we're just walking along this busy road, um, beautiful day and we've got Nyla in Dave's arms, a pretty gorgeous day, can't wait till she can uh, roam around and walk here as well, but yeah just get her, getting her used to cars and people and cyclists, she's doing pretty well. toys in the crate because she keeps biting feet and um, trying to keep her entertained so this is a good place to be rather than um, a bad place and trying to give her places to enjoy obviously she doesn't like it but trying to make sure she does like it and until she calms down um, trying to get her used to being in the crate. Not, not sure if it's going to work or not. Nyla. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. So it's New Year's Day today and we've had the tree up whilst Nyla's been here. Um, she has grabbed some of the tinsel, she has grabbed some of the baubles, but really, I mean, most of the time she's been good. But um, yeah, because it's New Year's Day, we've decided to take it down um, just so there's a bit more room so here's her crate and obviously the tree there so just going to create a bit more room and not have to worry about her getting the tinsel and all of that and um, so we've just had a play session with her and she's just outside now so uh, yeah gonna try and get the tree down before she comes back in
dog behind us and that's why she's trying to get off and a little bit fidgety. Such a hot day. So as you can see from the video, there's been some really great times and obviously some not so great times with the biting. And um, we have started to get it more under control. So the difference from week one and week two is that we were actively playing with her. So we were um, at either side of the room and she was running from one end to the other side um, and she was actively playing with us in our laps. Um, but now we've kind of disengaged from play a bit more. So as soon as she starts biting, we go, ouch, no, and then we disengage and we kind of just sit back on the sofa. So she is starting to realise, hopefully, that if she bites, then she's not going to get play with us. We also found that she can play by herself a lot more. So we're giving her the toys that she can play with and we're just sitting aside and again that makes sure um, that makes sure that she is not becoming too aroused not becoming too excited however um, there are times in the day um, mostly it's after food so um, the morning isn't too bad but the afternoon she did have a she had a thing with Dave yesterday and me the day before where she just could not sit down, could not do anything. She was biting, she would not listen. She was just, just crazy, crazy Nyla. So we did put her in the crate for a bit and gave her the toys in the crate. So that kind of helps a little, but she does not like to be in the crate during the day at all. That's something that we're gonna have to work on because it's going to have to be a point where I put her in the crate maybe whilst I'm working in the other room. Um, so we're going to slowly introduce that a bit more now in the day. We've also signed up for a puppy course with um, Kuri, which is here in Christchurch. So what's really good about them is um, they've actually given us um, their course beforehand. So it's a four week um, four week kind of on site course, but you also get the the videos and the course material for twelve weeks, and you have to actually do a couple of the tasks before you actually get to the kind of in house training, which is really good because that means that you you've already started before you get there, so you've already been working with your dog and kind of working on those. Um, things that you have to do. So one of them is the look command. So it's making sure that they're concentrating on you. Um, so Nyla has gotten better at that. So we've been practicing on and off the last two or three days. We've also been teaching Nyla to sit and to lie down and to leave it. So they are improving and hopefully in another couple of weeks they improve even more. Nyla is really good in the car journeys that we're taking, so I think I mentioned previously in the other video that we're trying to take her out every day in the car so that she gets used to it. And, you know, she's doing really well in that she goes in there, um, just a couple of treats into the crate, she goes in there, and then the journey, the car journey, is pretty much silent. She lies down, a little bit of whinging, but... Um, you know it's all been good so far and uh, hopefully that continues because we'll like to do longer journeys when she's able to walk. We've also been taking her on some more experiences so walking down the road as you saw in um, McCormick's Bay that was quite a busy road so lots of cars going past, lots of cyclists going past and um, she seemed to handle that okay and also the um, seagulls and the birds that are on the water as well. We also had a play date with Nyla. So um, I found a family on Facebook um, with the Vishla group here in New Zealand. And the, their pup is basically two days older than Nyla. Um, she did look a little bit bigger. So her name was Rosie. And we went over to Kaipoi and met them. 
and you know we've never seen Nyla run so fast she was just running 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 around and playing with Rosie hopefully I'm gonna have some more play dates for Nyla so there's some more people on that group that are willing to have play dates so all in all it's been a lot better than last week um, but obviously the biting issue is still a problem but we know that we have to work at that and uh, yeah so looking forward to how it's going to go next week um, so we'll be doing more training um, but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next week with some more Nyla updates. Bye then.